Oh. No, 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 no. No, oh. but there's girls that are making them now. Uh, I used to make them myself, and uh, they're making them and selling them on eBay auctions and also on, I think it's called Etsy. I believe that's what it's called, where they it's uh, crafts and arts and, you know, homemade type things. And most of the Burlesque es- Expos uh, all over the country, there's always somebody there selling things like that. Well. Uh, or, or, or you can make them yourself. No, I don't want to make them myself. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd go to eBay <laughs> to get some get some pastries. No, I no, I just thought it would be great. You know, do, do you have any to spare? I mean, you know. No, I only have uh, one pair that I that I bought for. Uh, I don't always take off my bra since I'm old. I can get away with not doing that unless it has something to do <laughs> with the magic. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, hang on. You, this whole I don't take off my bra. I've been to Facebook, okay? We've been yes. to Facebook. Yes. And, yes, you have taken off your bra. Yes, that's true. And you're a very healthy woman, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> very healthy woman. But, but you got reason, you, I had a reason for taking the bra off, and it wasn't necessarily to show the boobs. It was so I could make the bra vanish. And bring it back again. Well, and we appreciate that, but you know, we also like to see some skin too. See, I'm a guy. That to see boobies there in the middle. Well, that's just you know, just a, a nice accident. <laughs> uh, it was a very happy accident, yes, and we were grateful for it. But uh, <laughs> so you made the bra disappear, and then you brought the bra back. Correct. And in true burlesque and, fashion, and, and I put it back on. It was just in true burlesque fashion. You put it back on, which nobody does today. <laughs> <laughs> that is a rarity. That's 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 what the act is about. That's what's so great about it is is you have the magic, you have the sex, you have the sensuality, and then the bra reappears and it's boom, it's back on again. Well, you know, everybody always says, "Can you make your clothes disappear?" Of course, they're they're thinking in a permanent fashion. Oh yeah. But uh, I'm thinking as a magician, if you make it disappear, it's real nice if you can bring it back. No, that's that, that's a great that's a that, you know, yeah that's a great part of the act. I mean, I I, I I saw the photographs and I was just like, wow, yeah, you've got you've got you've got nothing to be ashamed of, dear. You're a very healthy woman at your age. Well, thank you very much. Very healthy. Your yeah. your your husband's a very lucky man. What? Well, how long have you been married to this one? Uh, since uh, 1988, 23 years. The, is that a record for you? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely is. It's not only not only is it a record, but I believe it's more years than I was married to all the rest of them combined. Oh, geez. Okay. All the other eight? Yes. Okay. So all the other eight husbands combined didn't add up to 23 years. Correct. So you got it right this time. I think so. Okay. I, I, I kind of I don't want to make him too confident, you know, because he needs to keep trying. But as he, he likes to put it, you know, he's he's he thinks he's got me broke in now, and he doesn't want to break in another one. And I never could run him off, no matter what. So this has worked out very well for both of us. And, and so he got you to settle down. Yes, he did, and uh, I think it's worked both ways, actually. Good deal. Congratulations on that. And uh, children, grandchildren? I have two daughters and uh, one um, one grandson, and my husband has two daughters, and he has three grandchildren. So between us, we have four grandchildren Wonderful. four daughters. Wonderful. So, and, and so, and, and and so, by the way, one of my daughters is a dealer right here at the Hard Rock in Las Vegas, so, you know. Oh, Just throw that out there. Well, I, you know, so, <laughs> I, well, you know, she's family. I don't want to get her in trouble, you know. Oh well, we wouldn't do that. We wouldn't. We would not play at her table. But I just throwing that out there. And my other daughter, Angel, she's the one that helps me make the costumes and stuff that I use now at the uh, burlesque fest. Yes, and I was yeah, I was going to ask you about the costumes that you're currently using. Uh, I did a YouTube search for you, and I was looking at some of your performances, the magic, and well, you weren't really stripping, but you you were uh, you were shaking your hiney a little bit, and that was kind of nice. Oh well, good. So yeah, so yeah, you were you I, were. I just use I just use my uh, assets as a distraction <laughs> for the magic. <laughs> it, it, it worked. It worked because I wasn't paying attention to where the dove went. <laughs> good, good. So yeah, it, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, so you've got. Let's see. 
Hang on, we have some paper falling in the background. Sorry for all the noise. But, uh, okay. Um, so, okay, so a total of four books. What is going on? Any idea? Any, any more writing? Any more? What, what, what have you got planned in the, in the short term, in the future? I'm probably going to put together another magic show, most likely for um, another benefit around here, maybe the American Legion, and also be working on the June Exotic World show here. And we have a girl named Chacha Valor here who has a burlesque show, so I may do some emceeing there. And just whatever comes up, you know. I've had invitations out of town, but that's going to depend upon whether or not uh, it's monetarily feasible, you know. Um, uh, you know, just depends on what comes up. Yeah, they I'm do. always open. Yeah, I'm do. always open for invitations and uh, seeing what happens. Well, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, they can get in touch with me through Facebook, or they can email me. It's Nevada Dust at Cox dot net. And on Facebook, it's uh, they can simply do a keyword search of uh, Dusty Summers. Correct. And they'll find your Facebook page there as well. Yes, and it's public, so they can go on there. And if they if they're interested, uh, they can write me. I always answer anything that's written to me. Yes, as you did me, and, uh, and, 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 and having you on the show, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I want to uh, uh, remind and you the that... Last, the last time somebody did that actually was a magician named Todd Robbins out of New York City, and he friended me on Facebook, and then I wound up in their play, Play Dead, which is a magic play, and that was through Facebook. So you never know what can happen. Exactly. I, this whole social media thing is amazing. The number of people that are there, the different types of people that I that I come across, and you know, and I, I just I read your profile and I read more about you, and I just thought this is a woman who's had a very interesting life, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, and she's just I mean, you just got so much to say. And like I said, we we've glossed over the books. You know, I would like to go into them more in detail, particularly your biography. Uh, autobiography, uh, and uh, you know we'd love to have you on again uh, in the future if you if you would be so kind. Well, I would certainly enjoy it. Um, I'm going out of town as you as I told you in the uh, email, and I'll be back in um, the, well actually the end of November. So perhaps sometime in December or uh, in the new year, just let me know when it's uh, convenient for you and when you have more questions. As you as you read through it, you may. Uh, Wind up with more questions. I am I, well, well. Every page, I come up with more questions. <laughs> <laughs> so we just don't have enough time. That's why when I was reading it over the past two weeks, I thought, "Oh no, I, 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 I this is I'm booking her too soon. I've got way too many questions to ask, and she's not going to be able to answer everything in an hour's time. Uh, she's going to have to come on two or three times uh, to to let us know what's going on because it's just way too much for us to cover." So uh, I do have one final question before I let you go. Okay. Did you make this telephone call? Were you nude during this interview? Well, um, I guess we'll just leave that one to your imagination. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I saw your posting on Facebook for the show. You said, tune in, everybody. I'll be calling in in the nude. <laughs> but it seems to me like I'm in my office and I can do it any way I want. That's what so we want to hear. I, I'm extremely comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> You're extremely comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> That's food for thought, folks. Think about it. Let your imaginations run wild. Dusty Summers, it has been an, uh, an amazing uh, conversation. Again, we would love to have you on in the future. We will definitely be in touch. Uh, we would love to have you as another as a guest. And uh, I'm going to finish reading your biography, uh, and I'll have a million more questions to ask you. And, of course, when I hit Vegas sometime, hopefully in 2012, it's going to be you and me against the casinos. That sounds like a good plan. My bank, my dinner, let's just go out and make some money. Okay, sounds great. Thank you, Thanks Dusty very Summers. Thank for having me. I thank, appreciate it. Thank you very much for calling in. Dusty Summers, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye now.